What is up guys, Dark Swordsman here, and finally I am back for more Dark Souls 2. Now I apologise, it's been a little while since I actually busted out any of these Dark Souls 2 videos to finish off the playlist. Um, I've had a bit of downtime on account of having a few guests, and uh, obviously while I've been entertaining my guests I have not been able to uh, bust out any videos. So anyway, uh, we're still in the Aldeas Keep, and we're going to basically carry on from where we left off. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to clear this lot out. Or at least I'm going to try anyway. Every time I'm on camera, I manage to sneeze. Oh. Right, now. The next thing we need to do is this. And believe me, there is good reason for it. Because you see, that stuff in there, it's acid and will damage our equipment. So, in order to pick up the items that are in here, we have to strip down, unfortunately. There we go. Right, so let's suit back up. Earth, did I end up with so many great swords? Uh, which shield was I using? Was it this one? I think it was this one I was using. Yeah, it was. Uh, and then armor, we were using the Elite Knight armor, weren't we? I think. Till we find something better. Just realized I haven't sorted my rings out, have I? So let's see, we want. That one, that one, um, now this ring's really good for if you've got a lot of souls on you and you don't want to lose them and you're going to somewhere that you're not very confident with going into so like if you want to sort of dip your toes in the water to check out an area that you've not done yet but you don't want to lose all your souls but at the same time cannot for the life of you be bothered to go back and you know level up then um, you can use that ring and that ring will break instead of losing your souls there are two variations of that ring one of them which basically stops you from losing anything at all basically Kill this guy now. Wow, he really staggered me. I forgot he likes to shield barge. I should have been ready for that. Oh, 
What? How on earth? Great, so he can hardly be staggered as well now. Okay. Uh, well, it happens. The torch is lit. All we've got to do is just pop back down the stairs and we can try our luck again. Um, I'll tell you what I'll do, actually, folks. I think I've got some... Yeah, I do. I'll put some resin on the blade just for that extra damage. Hopefully we can um, finish him off. Where is he? There he is. Gonna lie, that was a little bit annoying. I hate it when you do that and you roll through me. Well, through my swing anyway. Um there is Lockstone. Now, unfortunately, because I died, it means that anything that I killed out here is going to be alive again. So we're going to have to go ahead and... Um, yeah. Ooh. What's the matter? Can't you get in here? There we go. It's one way of dealing with him. I want to get rid of him because I might have to backtrack a little bit when dealing with this one and I just want to make sure I'm being careful here. They're too big to fit through the door, so this is the perfect spot to actually kill these guys. Okay, so... Uh, ooh, oh dear, what happened here? Let's just get those out of the way. I'm not quite sure how that's happened, but... Um, so we need to just light this last torch and then kill the NPC. Once we've done that, we'll need to go back on ourselves a minute to go get the Aldea Keep Key. Here he is. Pain in the arse. Will you stop rolling through my attacks like that? It's so annoying. Come here. Sit down. Those guys are probably one of the most annoying set of people I've ever dealt with. Uh, now we can smash this open, um, but we're going to need a little bit of help with that, and we'll try to do that in a bit. Um, first things first though, we're going to go and claim our little trinket. So let's go ahead and make our way back through here.
Now, once we get the Aldir Keep Key, things are going to get just a tad chaotic in that corridor. Um, but if you do as I do, then you should be fine. You stay in your damn cage. Luckily, the uh, hippo that was here blocking the uh, stairs stays dead, so we don't have to worry about him. So this will activate now. And we're going to step back up here out of the way. Well and truly out of the way. Because the head's going to come flying off now. Now, in the original version of this game, when you first entered here and you stood in the wrong place down there, the head would come off. Uh, but in the newer version, you have to kill the four NPCs in order to actually get the head to come off. Um, and once you do, and the head comes off, you'll get the Aldea Keep Key, which will allow you to access the other room that's on the other side of this corridor that we are going back to now. I'm just going to kill this guy as well, because I know he's behind there. eliminate as much interference as we possibly can. Uh, right. Now there is going to be a gargoyle in here and the majority of the chests in here are also mimics so we need to bear that in mind as well. And on top of that, we've got a sorcerer in here as well. A couple of sorcerers, actually. So I would say our best bet's going to be to eliminate that dark oil first. He's immediately managed to find his way out of the cage somehow do it. There we go. That's him dealt with. Now we are going to kill the mimics as well but first I think we should probably deal with the sorcerers. And then we're going to deal with the mimics one at a time. I'm going to deal with this guy first. He's got the bigger weapon. Now this is something that really ticks me off with this game. While we're in the middle of a backstab, they can still hurt us, but if it was the other way around, and say I had somebody with me, helping me, I wouldn't be able to do shit to my opponent while they're backstabbing my ally, because, well, just because the game won't let me. And it's really quite frustrating, if I'm honest. Alright, so let's start with... Uh, let's start with this chest, shall we? Now, also a little tip for you is when you're dealing with the mimics, if you're not very confident at taking them from the front, um, stand behind them and uh, they won't be able to hit you because they always lunge forward. So as long as you're stood behind them at the right angle, they won't be able to hit you. item here that I've missed. Right, is that all of the chests now? Did I get them all or have I missed one? 
I kind of feel like I might have missed one. I swear there was a fourth one in here somewhere. Or am I imagining it? Let's just let me just have a quick double check. Make sure I haven't missed anything here. Uh, no, it does generally look like I've got them all. In that case, it's time to cause some mayhem in the corridor. And basically what we've just done is broken all the cages. Which means now we need to be very, very careful. So let's see what we do. Whoa! Hello, lizard. Don't actually face very many of these on the first playthrough now. Originally you faced three or four of them um, at Sinner's Rise, but they took them out. You don't get put back in now until um, playthrough number two. I'm just going to run out of magic arrows, so I'm going to have to stock back up on those later. try and clear one side first because there's going to be a lot of stuff at that end as well you see and there is also a goddamn mimic that we've got to be careful of Mimic that's fucking, excuse my language, gaining on me. Whew. Ah, you can't get through the door, can you? Poor little defenseless Mimic. How I hate you. Black Witch's Staff. That's the staff that lets you cast miracles and sorcery together. Okay, I do believe that's this side cleared. And what a blooming mess we've made. Oh. No, 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 that was close. You missed. Where's he gone? He's gone back down his own corner. Ooh, that did some damage. Looks like one mimic's smarter than the other. Honestly, say the mimics are my most hated enemy on this game. Oh, fragrant branch of your. Um, right. I think that's that lot cleared. Uh, I'm just going to move this table out of the way a second. This stuff as well. Right now, we want to drag him through here. Ideally, this is going to get a little bit tricky. I've got to be very careful with how I do this. There we go. And now we're basically going to shoot him.
very much the same way we did the other one. Mr. Froggy. Going somewhere special, were we? Well, I've none of that, thank you. Takes care of him. That frog's dead, so we don't have to worry about him. Uh, and through here we have got a chest. I think it is possible to make him smash that back wall as well, possibly, but I'm not sure. I'm not 100% certain on that. Um, or is it through? Actually, it might be through this door I'm thinking of. So you can drop down into the acid pool from here if you wish, but since we've already got the items, we're not going to bother. I don't think there's any other purpose to this room. Right, let me just cut some of this crap out of the way. Now, we need to be careful here. This catches people out because... Uh, is it this door or is it the next one? Might be the next one, actually. Yeah, it's the next door. There he is. There's going to be a third and final one. And because we've cleared the room out, we should be able to stay ahead of him and keep shooting. As long as he doesn't start running at us, of course. If he starts running at us, then we're in trouble. But Cheeky frog. Right, onwards. Doing quite well here so far. I'll be honest, quite honest. Normally I die a good four or five times trying to get through here. Um, but no, we've actually done quite well this time. Um, now I just have to figure out how best to deal with the boss. I mean, he's not a particularly challenging boss, but... So he has two fire attacks that he can do, one where he just flies up into the air like that, the other where he will fly up and land on the wall and will flame grill the uh, entire field. He's also got that move as well. There's his other move that he's about to do. I need to get some distance now otherwise he's going to grill me and I could probably do with just chucking the flask out here. And once he's done with that, he'll come back down again, and we're free to go into the attack again. Oh no, he's going to go and do it again. Oh, come on. Got him. 
Well, that wasn't too difficult, I suppose. I've dealt with worse. And our next boss fight is actually an optional one. That's the Ancient Dragon. Now, I have seen a particular way of dealing with him, but... Um, when I tested it out myself on another profile, it didn't go so well. Although, having said that, that particular profile, I think, was on a playthrough plus three or four. may have even been worse than that. Um, so it could be completely different here. How long have I been recording for? 26 minutes. Okay, so uh, yeah, uh, we're going to follow this tunnel, and that's going to take us out through to the Dragon Airy. And if we go talk to the Emerald Herald, whatever her name is here. Now that feather will allow us to return to a bonfire as many times as we want. Uh, so we're going to make our way across this bridge. And grab this bonfire and I'm just going to quickly drop back to Medulla and regroup a second because I want to just see if I can level up my bow and uh, I also want to level up a little bit get rid of some of those souls that we've got on us because we've got quite a few souls on us right now and i know what i'm like with this next area and accidents have happened in the past and i don't particularly fancy putting my souls on the line um, Pretty sure I have picked up some. Yeah, I have. We we've actually maxed out our bow now as well. That's cool. I'll just level up my shield a bit more as well, just because I can. I don't think I've got any shards, but I'll just double check. Uh, let's see here. They're both on 50 now. So that's probably all I'm going to pump into strength and dexterity. I'm probably going to start pumping some into my magic next, I think. Possibly, I don't know. I haven't decided whether I'm going to go tank magic or what. Still deciding on that one. Because normally, once I get once I get my strength and dexterity to 50, that's when I normally tend to start working on my atonement and my intelligence, so I can start using sorcery. Um, to use a fragrant branch of your hair to just get rid of this. Uh, just got to wait for him to come around. Now we're going to have three wyverns to deal with as well while we're here.
make sure you kill them quickly they do explode and do a lot of damage There is a path through here that we could take, but we're not going to go this way. Do not break those eggs. Doing so will result in the dragons, well, the wyverns, potentially attacking you on the bridge later on. I'll explain it when we get there. These ones don't fly up in the air, they literally just try and stamp on you and stuff. And I should probably heal if I can. Heal, heal, heal. Oh, got the shield up just in the nick of time. You can use your flasks to heal here because you're going to have another bonfire coming up anyway. So don't worry too much about wasting your flasks. Now, there are going to be some crystal lizards here. Unfortunately, I think I've scared the majority of my ones off. There's one here. Kill him. But you can always come back after you kill the dragon and go get them. Oh no, take it back, one of them didn't run, there was this one here as well. I think the other one unfortunately legged it, because I got too close, but that's fine. It was bound to happen, but it's, it's, it's standard. Uh, right, so now we're going to head across this bridge here. That item there, uh, I believe you can get to by going on that zip line there, but you have to drop off at the right point. Um, I've never been able to do it, and so therefore I'm not even going to try today. Because I know how it will end, and I will just be here forever trying to do it, so I'm not even going to waste my time trying to do it. Um, well, unless I wanted to turn this into a comedy act anyway, which I don't, so... See, they really do explode quite spectacularly. There's going to be a few more up on this ledge as well that we have to worry about, so bear that in mind. Those power are really annoying. The thing is, they don't blow up as such, but they do sort of have the ability to expand like a balloon and pop for a minute and it sends you flying. Um, now we're going to go around this side first because just get rid of him. I believe yeah, there is a miracle user here that we want to deal with otherwise he will interfere with killing the dragon. And believe me I've had that happen before and a lot of rage has followed. I was not impressed. that even hit me just then. If 
that I'm not surprised at. That was my fault. I got too triggered back there. Now the third dragon, there is actually a little trick we can do to get rid of it, and I'll show you that in just one moment. I'm just going to grab the spoils. And again, there's going to be crystal lizards with this dragon, but uh, I only managed to kill one. I believe the others ran away, unfortunately. There was very little I could do about it. It is just one of those things. The minute they spot you, that's it. They dart. Um, um, but with the third dragon, what we can actually do, instead of going um, with our sword, oh, watch out for him. What we can do is we can come to this ledge. After that guy's blown himself up, of course. And we can basically shoot him from up here. And as long as we're careful, he can't hit us up here very easily. Obviously, there's going to be times where he's going to try and hit us. We won't get very far, though. We might take a few shots to bring him down. Oh, for God's sake, don't do what I did and uh, fall down because um, you will not survive the fall. Well, unless you put the silver cat ring on, the silver cat ring will survive. It. Funnily enough, we're going to do just that. Uh, if I can find it, what do I do with it? There it is. Now, from here, what we're going to do is we're just going to drop to the side here. Damn, too slow. Where on earth and all blue blazes did that guy come from? Where well, I've got a couple of them coming at me now. Oh. They broke one of my rings or something or other. Let me have a look. Uh, oh, my helmet. My helmet's been broken. Blimey. Uh, okay, we'll just put that helmet on for a minute. I will go and repair that shortly. Because once we get to the next bonfire, we're going to bring the episode to an end anyway, I think. Or actually, I'll have a look and see how much time's passed since we started this area. Because obviously, I'm trying to keep these videos to no longer than 35 minutes. So, um, let me have a look. Let's see where we're at. Misreading that. Thirty nine minutes. How on earth did I get from twenty five to thirty nine minutes? No way is it taking me that long to get through here. Right, well we better speed things up then. So yeah, we'll get to the bonfire and call it quits. Oh god, they're breaking my arm up. This is the bridge that we wanted. Um, now, those eggs I was on about earlier, if you break those eggs, it makes it a lot harder to get across this bridge because the dragons, or the wyverns, they will come after you. And when you get on this bridge, you're going to want to move as quickly as you possibly can. Do not dilly daddle because the dragons, they will attack the bridge and they will destroy it. 
and it will take you down with it. I've had it happen to me before and it's not a pleasant experience. Oh, this guy again? Come on. We ain't got time for this. Go away. Go away. You're interfering. There we go. Uh, right, so uh, we're at 41 minutes now, so I'm actually going to bring the episode to an end here. I didn't actually mean for this episode to go as long as it did, um, and I do apologise for the length of it. Um, but yeah, so um, next time we'll carry on and we will have a look at taking out the ancient dragon. So in the meantime, take care, folks, and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye for now. Take care.